What's going on Castle Clash? My name is With Honor, and today we'll be taking a look at the newest dragon, Lavonica. I already had a few videos out for her, but she did get upgraded. Uh, and this is kind of where I left her at before the upgrade happened. And so we're going to run her through some dungeons with this setup, with the 8-stone skin, which isn't great on her at this point. Her offensive capability is pretty insane and now with the addition of this 10,000 damage per hit uh, like basically a super stone skin stone skin lost a lot of value you know uh, I think gunslinger has a damage reduction built in but stone skin is still pretty much her best talent this hero is not in that place you want some kind of offense and I'm thinking bulwark is the best, uh, as I talked about in my previous videos, just because the hit points um, help out with her survivability, plus she gets some damage boost, plus you can get some hit points traits on her. Um, so I have her with 5 faint right now, because it's a bonus to attack, bonus to dodge, like survivability, artifacts, goblet of life. So we just want to keep her health pretty high uh, during her damage reduction phase that way she's not too vulnerable vulnerable I don't know why that word is so hard vulnerable during her uh, two seconds outside of her magma form um, and then her equipment cursed battlefield originally I put this on I, actually I think she was born with this and I went I, and I thought enemy targets receive 10% more damage and her ability makes them uh, receive 50% more so I was like that ah, cool that stacks why would I change that uh, at this point I don't think it's that great you know maybe I'll go for an energy sap or uh, a victory lunge something along those lines because her offensive capability is so great so we want to have enough for her to survive two seconds of you know no damage reduction and then immediately heal back to full so it's just like don't get too low during your magma form for eight seconds survive the next two seconds and then heal up to full and start all over again so this is an interesting hero to try and work on but if I get into their equipment um, you know I didn't spend a lot on this and I made a video about upgrading her and setting her up and so I really like the hit points that she had uh, that I got uh, the attack it's always kinda hard to roll over a five attack like for any hero mostly not I mean not for any hero but it's hard to roll over a five attack it's like when you're trying to get it like on your Minotaur or way back when Anubis whoever you're trying to roll a five attack on it just seems really hard and so I kept that and then my last roll going through 450s Again, that's, this is in the video. I got a 5 dodge, 4 accuracy. And I thought that was pretty good. So I kind of left it there. And I think this really feeds into uh, having a bulwark. Because you got HP, attack, HP, HP. With a little dodge and accuracy in there. But it, it matches up with a bulwark really well. So let's just get into attacking the dungeons and see how she does. This is with the stone skin. So the first one I wanted to try is 810. So let's just attack and you know I'm gonna go from where we always start is up here in this corner. We attack there and then in past videos you put whatever here you're trying to focus on then you might drop PD over in this other corner but we're not gonna do that. We'll just see how this goes. Just killing the buildings pretty fast. It looks like there might be a, some empty hero bases already. Uh, but these guys' life, they're not dropping that fast. Like, I don't, Did those die Like on these outside corners? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Maybe it was just like ordinary heroes or uh, regular legendaries and not centaurs. So she's sitting here on this one centaur throwing out a bunch of damage where we at 
So we're 50 seconds into the dungeon, and we're at 21%, but no sign of her dying, which is pretty crazy. There's all kinds of strateg strategies to beat this dungeon. Um, if you go back to when a lot of us have played from the beginning, when this was a new, it was ridiculous. And then there's been some sort of uh, easy ways to do it. All right, he so that centaur just ran in and stunned. Uh, maybe I can use this. Throw that circle. Mouse can can be hard to see. So, all right, she's going in. She just got the Multanica activated. Let's see if the Multanica makes any difference in this event. Dropping the circles. It looks like the Multanica is almost dead, and Levonica is still fine. But we only have dropping the circles on the time. We have like a minute left. Can she get through it? Um, I, she might, I don't know if the minute, or actually 47, 6, 5 seconds left are enough, but she's not going to die, and that's clear, so let's just get in and clear this out, and then we'll take a look at 2-1. Uh, Doesn't really even matter if I 100% this, but let's go to 2 1. And this one is important for one of the relics. Was it uh, probably the relic that I even have her on right now, right? The uh, life drain one or the healing relic? Right. Okay, here we go. Alright, so I'm just going to start off with Lavonica by herself. We'll just drop her over in a corner. If you've ever actually attempted this dungeon for real, you probably start over in the bottom corner, but for ease of clicking, I started over here because I don't have to try and avoid clicking on a spell or another hero. Yeah, and this looks a lot like the last dungeon. And I think I ran this before. Well, if that Atlantic or Prox, he didn't. That could have been a problem. And so... Yeah, she's not going to die. Everything else is dying around her, so... Let's just drop heroes. So she can solo this. And I think I did do a test run where she did solo it. It just took, like... 2 minutes and 45 or 2 minutes and 50 seconds so I don't think anyone who has Lavonica is actually going to wait for her to solo it unless you have a brand new account and you just spent every resource you have to make her your only double evolved hero which can be cool I mean it'd be an interest, interesting situation to be in so let's check out 4 or 5 And just generally want to start away from hero, so I'll put her up here on top and let her go. Pick up some momentum. Let her drop her fireballs everywhere, which is pretty cool. It's not kind of not like quite as far as uh, Nick, I don't think. But she's dropping them in a pretty wide range. Oh, her life is dropping, and then switch back to magma form 100%. Now she's focused on this Cupid. And I think there's an Orc's Bane in there, or maybe it just died. Alright, again, she's not going to die, so. Finishing it up. I think this next transition between uh, Insane 410 and Insane 510 is where is her breakpoint and capability. 
And I'm kind of showing this because the the targets are neutral. Like I don't know how much I don't know if talents and and setups in the dungeons change much. Like I I feel like they're consistent. You know, you're not going to go in one time and find that the Snowzilla you attacked every other time now suddenly has 8 8 blade shell. But I feel like this is where Levonica drops off, so. I mean, this is a very difficult dungeon. Let me just. Maybe check 6 5. Because I've tried 5 5 and she doesn't last long. So let me just take a look at this one. Um, I don't know. This could have a more favorable in, um, result. Let's just drop her over on a corner without heroes to begin with and not with these three stun towers. And see what happens. But overall, she's doing really well. I think the worst thing is the amount of time it actually takes her to make progress. She's kind of stuck on this Multanica because Multanica is slowing down her attack speed so much. With along with the stun towers, just creating that. I don't know. Is, is she getting stunned by the stun towers? Maybe not. All right, Santa. Throw some bazookas at her, and will that slow her attack down? It's not stopping her life, but. She's just really slow about doing a, her business. And there she died. Okay. Yeah, so that was a little bit better than 510, but not much. So let's go switch out her talent to Bulwark and run through the same stuff and see if it's any better. Okay, I have to open up a Bulwark. Go through my warehouse. And I got the stone set up already. So we're just going to use one of these. They're not putting on a druid. There you are. We'll change that. Replace. Okay, and then I'll go back and level up. Six, seven, eight. All right, 60%. And she did die that time, so let's revive her and go back in. Let's go back to, uh, oops, didn't mean to attack on base. I meant to go to dungeons. Let's go back to expert A10 and see what happens. I mean, ultimately, what we're looking for here is things just die faster because she's been. Sl she doesn't die. She didn't die with stone skin. She was just slow about getting there. And so I think on this dungeon I actually had to drop heroes to kind of speed it up. But ultimately that's what we're looking for. Just going faster, I guess. Alright, so we've got some centaurs coming out. She's doing some pretty massive damage to everything. Like Let's just watch the Multanica's life. She's like she's not engaged at all. She's just an innocent bystander to everything that's going on. And she's left below 50% now. And now she's engaged. So she comes out and she does her flame thing which may slow attack speed. Yeah, I saw some slow movement going on and now we're sitting on top of her. We got a full heal there when we transform back. Still on that Multanica. Still dropping damage over here. Alright, this run is pretty similar. We're almost halfway through. Multanica is going to die here. And then there's just two very low centaurs. So she's not going to die again. Let's just try and finish this a little faster. So this looks pretty good for Lavonica. 810 cleared, no problem. And it feels like it was about the same amount of time. 
So I don't think we saved anything there. Let's go back. We'll go to insane uh, two one because this is this is very important for progression. And we'll just drop her in this corner again. And like I think the first times I ran this with the stone skin just to do some testing on my own side before I, I actually started filming it took her like down to 20 seconds or so probably farther to get through this entire dungeon and this feels faster so I'm just gonna yeah I'm just gonna let this go and see what happens Because this feels a lot faster. Like I'm talking about, it would take two more minutes to clear all this stuff. Although that pathing kind of sucked. Alright, she's going to like, see how she's going. She's going to have to go all the way up here. If she lives, I mean her health is out oh, full heal. This is really awkward, her pathing. Because she kind of went up, went down. Now she's going up towards this corner. She's going to have to go to this corner and come back down. So there's a lot of travel time involved, but the time left on the clock is huge. And I think I mean, we're still over a minute difference between whether if she finished right at this moment or not, but you know, I'm going to have a minute left on the clock versus uh 10 or 15 seconds. That's pretty incredible. Yeah, she's just destroying this stuff. Cool. Let's see if it carries over into the next ones. Um, I don't know if I'll drop these guys if it'll help. Collecting full, re full rewards in the video is probably not a smart thing. Alright, so I think we did 410. Right, let's attack this one. Let's see. Yeah, we'll start in the same place. We'll just come from the top and see what happens. Yeah, I mean, I think this stuff is dying way faster. We're, I mean, we fed that Atlantic core, but he died before he could even get unstunned. And the rest of this stuff is just dying super fast. I mean, it's eating quite a bit of time off the clock. If you consider it's just one hero soloing Insane 410. That's insane in and of itself. Alright, yeah, I don't think anything's going to change if I drop more heroes. So let's just... All the other heroes are dead, so it's just about killing the buildings. Let's go. And so for, for the video purposes, I think I skipped 510 and went to 610. So let's just see what's going on with that. Let's see if she does any better. Look at those doves running out to kill those last hero bases. All right, last run with Bulwark. Oh, wait, I'm not sweeping. Attack. All right, so I dropped over in this right-hand corner because we don't want to drop around these three. Actually, that might be a benefit if she just gets stunned and just procs between stuns. But for the con continuity purposes, we don't want to change things up. I mean, the building's dying pretty fast. Got to kill this Multanica. That's Multanica's just stuck. Oh, Multanica proc, so we got some slowdown going on. God, what percentage did she complete last time? Alright, I think they kind of died in the same spot. And so, I'm going to do one more... Oh, I have to revive her if I'm going to do that, so let me... 
or five or because I did do a lot of five ten attempts before making a video so with the stone skin though not sweet I always want to go to sweet that's my like natural reaction because uh Let's just see if she can do anything here. Because the uh, progression breakpoint I found with her was uh, between 410 and 510. And I, you know what? She's actually doing better already. So don't have it on video. I can only speak to it, but this is going better. So. We'll see if she can actually live through it. Yeah, this is way better. I think she can actually solo 510 with the bulwark versus the uh, stone skin. Stone skin, she'd be dead already. She would not clear this top corner. So this is kind of cool. And she's still going. Two minutes left. Is that Skull Knight beating on her? All right, so the Skull Knight finally killed her, but she made a lot more progress. And then, you know, you could probably use the pet to silence or clear buffs or something to deal with Skull Knights, but she made better progress here, so I definitely think Bulwark is much better. But. This has gotten into a long video, very long video. So if you're still watching, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you. Definitely check out my other videos about Lavonica because there's some other insights that I talked about that are still applicable. And then my other videos because I feel like I'm pretty smart about Cast Clash, but take care.